What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back. So, we're going to work on this old 56 Chevy today. It, uh, I ordered a uh, new heater core for it. Sir. The one that's in it, I think it may be plugged or something, but it, when it starts getting up to temperature, it starts steaming out the vent on top or above the dash. For so, the defrost, yeah. Yeah. So it starts steaming up there, and I was doing a little research, and they said it could be plugged up or cracked, but it's not leaking. So we, I bought one. We're going to see if we can get that thing put in. we uh been working on the comment, but we got to take a break on that, because we got to go get something tomorrow. You guys will see. We're going to put it online for you yeah. guys. Either way. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so we're going to... It'll be on a short, I'm sure. Yeah. We're going to start trying to figure out how to take this heater core and heater box and everything out of this old car. I ain't never done it. You ever done it? I ain't got a clue, man. I ain't got a clue. But we're going to figure it out. It's only nuts and bolts. Only nuts and bolts. So yeah, y'all stick with us and uh, wish us luck. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. <laughs> All right, y'all. So uh, I guess first thing we're going to do is pop this battery tray out right here. Got to get to the bolts under it. Yeah, got to get to the bolts under it. Get our heater hoses undone. Probably will drain the radiator too while we had it. Huh? It's just two hoses, man. Let me lay them up. They won't drain it. I got a radiator hose for the top. We're going to go get a new one and a new clamp for the bottom. I forgot about that. Yeah, I guess we need to drain it. But we can do this right now and get the... There's one. This too. Is it canceled? Yeah. I think so. Yep. And there we go. There's a heater box or battery box. That's too easy, right? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. oh Lord. <laughs> Drop my microphone. I'm sorry if y'all heard all that mess. Hey, one, two, three, maybe? Yeah. Uh, what I read on the tri fi form, they said you'd pull the battery box off and you'd see everything. So I guess, like you said, these three studs. I don't know if that's, that's a stud. stud or not. <laughs> maybe this one. Well, that one. That yeah, one. we'll try that. Because the. Heater core is in the uh, in the heater in the box where it says. All right, we need a we need a probably that deep well, huh? All right, that's that. Pop them off with the pop them off with a ratchet. Yeah, because they look a little. Eh. Exactly. I don't want to strip anything out. They look a little old. So did everything else on here, but everything had not fallen. Yeah, down. it all falls apart. Just like that right there. <laughs> hey, look at me. Yeah, it may be a little rust on the outside of it. I ain't sure. Can we spray them with something? Yeah, let's get some PB on it. Yeah, I want to go ahead and get this heater box swapped out before we um, paint the floor. Because I know it's going to drain water in there probably and everything. So, if that didn't work, we'll take a wire brush to it. Might have to clean the rust off of it. It's working, ain't it? Yeah. All right, that's that one. Oh. Yeah. Impact. Bit driver, wherever. 
Barely can't hear you. It's raining so hard. Yeah, I know. I hope y'all can't hear it. I hope it ain't messing their audio up. But it is raining. Let me tell you. Well, that one come off in the floor. All right, everybody. Since uh, got drained the radiator anyway. Doing the heater hoses. We've just already started taking apart the top radiator. Yeah. On this thing. I've got a top one. I haven't gotten the bottom one yet. I was going to try to get to the auto parts store and get one of those. But I was having a hard time finding this one right here. And honestly, the one they sent me seems to be a uh, quite too big, too. Oh, man. <laughs> but we can cut that and make that fit, no problem. But yeah. I like it better the other way. He likes it that way. <laughs> I like it that way, too. Uh, that looks better. Where sort the of bend's at, anyway. It's a 5556 upper rad hose L6 economy. Apparently, it's not. Unless. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean. That's, that's, one of these are not like the other. <laughs> <laughs> one of this one ain't like the other, that one. It's not like the other, so I don't know what to do with this. Yeah. One. But yeah. And pop it off up here at the yeah, firewall. Get started on that. All right. Hose is out of the way. Already got the radiator drained out. So. Well, it's still draining, but the new radiator cap. This thing will dollar you to death. Huh? This thing will dollar you to death. I'm telling you, nickel and dime you. For sure. Luckily, we just put these on, so they shouldn't be that bad. Yeah. It's probably gonna make a mess, you reckon? Shouldn't. If it does, it ain't gonna be a whole lot. Alright. Oof. There it is. Ah. Ooh, ah. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit different here. Maybe well, how's all this? It'll work. We'll have to cut it back. Huh? We we'll just have to cut it back. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut it. It's one of those one size fits all hoses. Yeah, it fits most. Fits most, except for this one. Yeah, except this one. It'll work. Cool. I'm I'm okay with it. You're right. I'm not even mad about it. Ah, this thing's just come on, there it is. How bad is it gonna leak now? It's a question. Hey, it's coming out. Woo! You ain't giving it no choice, are you? All right, pull it on the hose. Huh? Get the hose off of it. The hoses are off of it. All right, I thought you still taking the hose off. Uh, we got some issues in here, sir. Like the glow box pieces, it may be. Yeah, all right. Well, now we're gonna make, I'm gonna make sure I'm getting all this in it for I don't want copper to dang. Oh, green water. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. So the heater box is attached to the cable right here that switches the defrost switch. Yeah. It's got all the weight, so we can't even pull it. But we got to pop these four screws out and get this piece of cardboard <laughs> out. <laughs> Glove box out. Glove right. box. So we can get to the cable. But we're going to do that real quick, and uh, we'll see where we get to. All right, y'all. So we got the cardboard glove box out of here. And here's the wire it's hooked onto this. So, yeah. All right, that's loose, and we'll slide it off on this end, maybe. Yep. Dino's going to pull the heater box out, maybe. Shoot ya. 
and this older car has never ceased to amaze me. That is so simple and it's pretty cool and good. Yeah. All That's right. It. So now we got to take this box apart and the heater core is right there on the inside. Get a table. So get us a table built real quick. All right, guys. So we got out of the car. It's laid up here. Uh, we're going to start taking all these screws out. See about splitting it. I'm not really sure how to go about it. But we'll figure it out. Maybe just these around. Yeah, I think it's just the ones down the middle. The way it looks, anyway. Hey, we're, we're going to save this. That's an antique right there. <laughs> Very <right>. important. <laughs> this thing's probably been... It's been apart before no one... I know my two screws here is pretty, pretty good screws. Yeah. I'm gonna switch out to the bigger bit though. Um. Okay. And two in the front. Sorry. He's out of the way. All right. We may have to take these two out. I'm not sure yet. Well, yeah. It's the first time I ever did this one, so I'm not sure either. Okay. Got two more down here. Three more. So yeah, it's easier probably to take the glove box out first. Listen, learn. And then. Which the one in that car was in such disrepair. It was, it was pretty Yeah. Rough. We won't split there. Nope. nope, we gotta pull it. This one, that one. Yeah. Let's we'll take all screws out. <laughs> it's all over. Got one more right here in the front. Oof. I don't know if it's the right one. <laughs> and there we go. Let's see here. It's probably ain't the right even thing. Definitely not the right one. Hmm. Looks like that one may have been leaking or something. Yeah, it's seen better days for sure. And I guess this is where this video stops at. <laughs> Imagine that. More wrong parts. Story of our damn life. Yeah. Now we know what it looks like instead of just going online trying to order something. It's so close. I don't know where this one's going, but it's going in the wrong direction. <laughs> I don't get that. It's this one. <laughs> Yeah. Why is it going backwards? <laughs> this is for the the, uh, the internal the deluxe heater with the in internal yeah. deal. We was talking about that the other day. Yeah. So this car is what they call it, just a standard heater. The standard heater is got a, heater. a valve that goes into the line of the heater core that you turn in or out, and it causes it to warm up quicker, I believe. Yeah, and now this heater core is made for an internal valve that works off of your uh, hot and cold switch. Right. So it would go here and then pop, that I guess, back out right here that like that. So now you're at a crossroads. Do you want to buy the valve to put that one in here or do you want to right. um, Yeah, order a different <laughs> one? <laughs> crossroads. Yeah, once again. All righty, we're going to discuss our life situation right here. and <laughs> Life choices. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure something out. We'll turn back on here in a few minutes. All right, y'all. So we uh we got this heater core back together, or heater box heater core back together. And uh, unfortunately, I ordered the wrong one, as we stated just a minute ago. So uh, hang on, hang on, wait, wait. Just because it's the wrong one, it's the only one that's readily available for these years' cars. The yes. 55, 56, and 57. I guess the common thing is just to update it to a deluxe heater. That's it. So technically not the wrong one, but yeah. it still works. It's the right one, but the wrong one that goes in this car. Anyhow, yeah. one for this car is <laughs> 500 bucks. Every, yeah. 
three to five hundred. That's like that's a lot for heater. Yeah. So <laughs> we mimicked the deluxe heater pipe without the heater control valve. That's it. So I mean, this is what we got. If it leaks, it leaks. I don't think it's gonna leak. It comes out of the heater core. It's got a, a hose there, adapts to it, and just a nice gentle swoop and comes out the front. That's what we've done. Because I don't, I don't have the switches or nothing to control the valve or any of that. So we're gonna run with this. See if what happens. It's probably gonna work. More than likely, it will. We're gonna put it back together. I guess. Yeah, we're fixing and put it back together, and a couple of days off, off, and now back to it and enjoying it. We'll slam this in there. We'll hook the heater hoses up and then uh, replace the two uh, radiator hoses. Yeah. Fill it up with coolant and crank it up and see what happens. Sounds like a battery box and battery, too. There you go. That's true. And what's left of the dash, which is just the cover. Not much, yeah. <laughs> All right, so Dino's fixing to we'll slide it in. Crawl in the car. Yeah. All right, y'all. We uh, heater box is in. It was just a few minutes. We didn't get no footage of that, really, just because it's hard to get the camera angle under there. But that's the end, so we're going to pop our hoses on and then our battery box. And <laughs> we should be good. May have flared the end of that one a little bit much, huh? Yeah, that'll work. We can grab it right there. Really, I didn't make a match, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Pull that top hose back off or not? Yeah, figured you would. <laughs> All right. Battery box. Battery box. Seen better days. Yeah. That's okay though. We'll get cleaned up one day, right? Yeah. <sighs> now I remember last time we took this off. <laughs> Somebody had a time getting it back together. It was something else, yeah. We fought and fought and fought. Is any of them long, different size? No, uh, yeah, there's two. This one's a little longer than the two long ones I gave you already. Okay. Maybe put it together and keep it loose. Might be the trick. Ready. That's that. Oh, missed your ground strap. Lord emergency. <laughs> what if that went right here? No, that's where the bat. Well, no, I think it was to the side. I'm pretty sure. I didn't <sighs> see that. Yay. That's my old ground strap here.
Maybe. I think so. Yeah, you got it. All right, batteries in. Or right, battery box. That's right, yep. Now we got to get on that top and bottom radiator hose here. All right, we got this hose cut down. Normally they have them, you know, direct size that you want when you go to the auto parts store, but uh, evidently you got to order these, and when you get them, they're a little bit longer. Yeah. We cut it down a little bit. I have to cut it, trim it again, actually. Yeah, it still looks long. Yeah, it's still, it may work. Let's we get it turned a little bit. You want to, what's that? To loosen the radiator up and slide it top forward. You can. Yeah. I didn't know about the radiators or sliding. I didn't down. either. Try. I just looked at it. It's three bolts. Yeah, so this radiator has slots in the mountain frame. Wow. Three bolts loosen it up, and then the radiator slide forward to make it a little more easier, maybe. That's fancy, ain't it? Yeah, let's go. Cool. <laughs> <coughs> Trying to push it in from the back side. Yeah. What is that fancy? Is this fancy and old dang it? This is made to accommodate a different. Yeah. So we probably. Could, I don't know. I don't know how far out it would have been, but I, mean, I like it. Send it. I'm said, he says send it. Send it. Tighten the radiator back up. That was an easy one. Yeah, that's an easy one. This next one's going to be a pain, I bet. It might not be. Yeah, you never know. Very possible, but maybe not too bad. Now, the crazy part is this next hose here, that's the original, what it looked like. Mm -hmm. That's the closest they can get to it at the uh, auto parts store. So we're going to attempt to make it work, and if it does... And that's actually what it calls for for this car and the, their computer, too. So we'll see. I mean, what's happening? It's, it is or ain't going to work. That is true. And we had to tell them if it was two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive for the wiper blades, but it all worked out. All right, y'all. So we got the cool it put in this thing. So we're going to fire it up and see, if, see if how many air leaks. bubbles we got. Oh, well, they got a lot of air bubbles. I didn't think about putting the cap on already. Dang it. That for you ready? Yes, sir. Let's give it the old pat. Set the choke. All right, we found a first issue. What happened? Um, it's weakened. No, it ain't leaking. No, not leaking at all. Fan ain't turning. Fan ain't turning. Yeah, might be time for another bell. Probably time for a bell. Or I might have put it a little closer out there. I can't tell. I have to back that hose up just a little bit. Well, that fan wasn't cooling. Uh -uh. Yeah, that's touching. <laughs> That'll do it, donkey. Wow. <laughs> it's all good in the neighborhood. That's great. No more. <clears throat> I'm afraid I'm gonna pull it all the way off the car. The bottom's what needs it. All right, let's do this. Should be good there. Yeah, send it. It's gonna start leaking. It's leaking now. Oh shit! That was it.
That's funny. All right, so we put the hose on too tight, too close, and it was setting up against the uh, fan pulley. <laughs> I'm gonna it for you. The best belt in the world on it, right there. The most worn out belt there ever could be. All right, let's try it again. Try it again here, see what we get. <clears throat> hey, we got turning there. And of course, we've got a do what? Yeah, it'll, it'll quiet down. Right here at this hose. The radiator outside. Right we'll be backing it off, man. Oh, right there. This one is. That's it. Yep. Oh, we're down there. All right, y'all. We uh we got our little leak fixed. We done some uh, hose clamp adjustment on that bottom hose down there, and it it fixed the leak on that. To the other side of that, we had the uh, hose clamp too far up on. The water pump side next to the pulley, you know, is not allowing the pulley to spin. Yeah, it was so, sitting on fan pulley, and it was just like, nope. Learning this thing needs a new belt, too. Of course, it needs a lot of new things, but we're getting there. Yeah. Piece at a time. That's it. I don't think what else we run into. That's about it, right there. Make sure you prepared when you if you order a heater core for a Tri Five Chevy or a Fifty Five and Fifty Six because they use the same one, and then Fifty Seven is totally different. Make sure you get the deluxe heater adjuster piece for it. Control valve. Control valve. Hit a control valve. Or make one. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to try to... I might, might try to make a small video out of this. I ain't sure yet. Let's see how much I got. Probably 10 minutes worth of damn video. <laughs> Probably the best. It's always something like that. But yeah. Uh, if I do, y'all, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good stuff we're supposed to do when we watch videos on YouTube. And uh, y'all have a great day. Thank you, guys. Definitely.